Andy Velker with Technophobics Anonymous. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about how to set up a new Gmail account. And, and this is an email account uh, through Google's, uh, Gmail, Google's email service. And this is how you're going to want to set up your email. You may already have an email account set up. This is how you're going to want to switch over from the email that you're on to this new Gmail account. Um, what they do is they have all of the emails are uh, accessible through the browser, right? So when you click on and you go to the internet, all your emails are going to be popping up. And this is how you want to do it. You don't want to store your emails down on your computer. You want to store them on Gmail, Google's servers, so you always have access to them uh, anytime you're coming from any browser anywhere. So when you go to your friend's house, pop on the computer, you put in your uh, Gmail account, your, your email, and your password, you'll be able to check all your emails from anywhere, from a coffee shop, from any spot that you want to be. This is how you want your email to work, so you, you really have access to it uh, from any place, anywhere, anytime, any computer that's connected to the internet. Um, uh, this is way better than having emails down on your own computer. Now, if the only time you're ever going to be uh, using the internet is on your own computer, you might want to hold on uh, to the email address that you have there, but it, it's really, I don't want to say old school, it, it's not the way that you want uh, to set up ideally your email system. You want to have access to all of your stuff um, from any uh, terminal that you go to the internet. Uh, let's, let's go uh, make it happen. All right. First thing we're going to do is uh, type in Gmail all right, into Google, into our command line, and notice at the very top, Gmail, it's email from Google. So we'll go ahead and click on that one. Right, this, is, this is what we want to happen. Now it's, it's actually loading my email. I, it understands who I am. Um, and I'm going to uh, sign out of that. This is what, this is what uh, Gmail looks like if you're not signed in. It says, welcome to Gmail. All right. uh, what you want to do is you want to come on over here. Down at the bottom, bottom right, it says sign up for Gmail. So we're going to start a new account here. So we're going to click sign up. So what is your first name? Go ahead and put your first name in there. Um, whatever your first name is. Um, your last name. Uh, whatever the last name is. And now what you're going to do is you're going to put in the desired login name. Now, I, now to make it easy, I put in randyvelker at gmail.com. Everybody knows who they're emailing to. I know... Um, now, I'm not going to do that right now because I already have a randyvelker at gmail.com. So I'm going to change this over to um, smoothmonkey at gmail.com. I'm just setting up a new uh, email address. Um, I'll probably delete it as soon as we're done here. But uh, And now I have to, what I have to do is I go ahead and click it and I'll check the availability. Smoothmonkey is not available, of course. Um, someone already has smoothmonkey. Um, so I'll go ahead and change that to Smooth Monkey 44. I can hardly believe that there's going to be a Smooth Monkey 44. Oh, excellent. I have Smooth Monkey 44 is available. Now this is where you want to choose your password. Now this password is going to be a high security password. This is not a low security password here. This is this uh, the way that it's set up with uh, Google and Gmail. You want this to be a high security password that nobody else knows, that nobody else has access to, uh, because uh, Google has a lot of different things that connect in with this one password, and it'll happen uh, in the future. So, uh, and you'll see more of that in the future. Uh, basically, what we want to do here, though, is choose a password that uh, is up at least eight letters long and is um, secure, uh, you know, the high security password. So uh, we're going to do uh, Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound That Saved a Wretch. All right, so that's 10 letters. That's the first uh, 10 words from Amazing Grace. So Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound That Saved a Wretch. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to have to type that in again. It says re-enter the password. Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound That Saved a Wretch. And I do not want them to remem remember me on this computer. If this was your own personal computer, you would keep that checked. And you would enable web history. That's fine. Uh, security question they're going to ask you. 
Um, what was your first phone number? What was your first teacher's name? Um, uh, you could put uh, mother's maiden uh, name and go ahead and put that in there. Um, a secondary email. Um, I already know what mine is. Valkyrie at gmail.com. All right. This address is used to authenticate your account should you ever encounter problems or forget your password. You can leave this blank. Okay, that's fine. So you don't even need one to start with. Now you're going to have to type in, there's a picture right here. Um, you can see it. All right. I don't want to highlight it, but you have to type in the letters that it says. E-R-E-I-D-E-R-E. -E -E. All right. I think those are the letters from what I can make out that are right there. They're just trying to make sure that you really are a person come getting this email address instead of a machine just trying to get a bunch of different email addresses simultaneously. Um, read through the Google account uh, terms of service um, and then I accept create my account. Do you want Google Chrome to save your password? I'm not going to have them save my password, no. Now they're going to tell you some stuff about your Google account here and you're more than welcome to to read through it, um, but you can just go straight to your account right now. <clears throat> I'm ready. Show me my account. Smoothmonkey44 at gmail.com. Right? They've already sent me an email right here saying Gmail is different. Here's what you need to know. So it'll get you set up. But now, anybody that sends an email to smoothmonkey44 at gmail.com is going to come directly into this. Um, it's my email address. It's going to come to me. All right. Now, Ideally, you've set one up with your name, so anybody who sends an email to your name is going to be coming to you. Uh, that's kind of how you want to have it set up. Um, now, I'll walk you through and explain a little bit more about how Gmail works uh, next time. But uh, uh, if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and set up your Gmail account. All right, we'll see you next time.